Hey guys, it's me again with the Bali Star Trek pinball machine. Just wanted to give you all an update on how far we've gotten. So the last time we talked we were doing the I2C interface with the MCP uh, 23017 chip. We were uh, lighting up a bunch of LEDs by pressing some buttons. So we've still got that hooked up, but now as you can see we've got this really nice UI we've made kind of copying off the original Star Trek design and we actually have the logic for the game close to finish. So if you look here and listen, we have some sounds too. Turn it up a little bit. So here we can start a game by pressing the start button. And so pretend the ball's rolling down the field, we've got two slingshot buffers, so. You can see now every time I hit it we get the sound and our LEDs still light up down here. Now these three are for the three pop bumpers. The pop bumpers are going to be the only way you can score points for right now. And since we have three of them we're kind of copying off the old Windows XP pinball game where if you activated all three of the pop bumpers within a certain amount of time you got a score multiplier. So as you can see wants 100 points and if I activate all three within 20 seconds our multiplier goes up to two so now we get 200 points every time we hit it if we activate all three again our multiplier is up to three we've got some more logic in there for you know the typical if you score so many points you get an extra ball blah 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 you all know pinball and of course the all-important we lost a ball and our multiplier resets back down so now we're only getting 100 points at a time so if you all will come with me to the machine I can show you how we are ready to hook the pie up to everything else. So what we've got going on right here, I already showed you this, this is our transistor circuit. The Raspberry Pi is actually going to hook up all of the GPIO pins to these resistors here. Those are going to activate these transistors and it's either going to go to the 20 volt supply or the 50 volt supply and activate the right solenoid for whatever we just hit on the sensors. So, the way this works is, let's see how well you all can see this. So on this solenoid here, this is one of our slingshots. We've got this almost yellow wire that's connecting this solenoid, this solenoid, and this solenoid inside of here that activates the ball release. The grounds on these solenoids, or the negative terminal, these actually go down to the... Sorry, my wires are a little bit messy. These go to the transistors. So what's going to happen here is the Raspberry Pi is actually going to send a 3.3 volt signal to these transistors, and it's going to complete the circuit to ground and fire our solenoid. So, the other thing, one more thing we've got that we have to hook up. We've got these little skinny wires in here. In order to save us some work, I actually went through and found every single sensor wire and left it where it was and made a new circuit using the sensors. So now, let's see how well you can see this guy. Can you give me some more light in here? a little bit better. So this sensor you can see we've got this yellow with red stripe wire and a brown with yellow stripe wire. These two are actually going to go, one of them is going to come from 5 volts and the other is going to go back to a GPIO pin on the MCP chip. So whenever this circuit is completed 
it's going to complete the circuit to the chip and let us know that that got hit so the Pi can fire this solenoid right here. All right, well, that's the gist of everything so far. So hopefully we'll have one more video for you guys coming up sometime that's at least a prototype of everything working. So uh, thanks for watching and email us with any questions.